Hey, it's Panzer here today. Going to be showing you a Helios 44-2 Russian-made lens. I think this is a KMZ-made one. And here it is. A close-up look of a beautiful, extremely uh, famous... The millions of these are made, and there has a big cult following right now. And uh, this is the one I selected. And, of course, when it arrived from Russia, it hardly worked, even though he stated that it did. But I have taken it all apart and relubricated it. And there's that nice, beautiful Made in USSR stamping right there, which I like to show to friends when they can't believe I have a Russian lens, which, yeah, why not? The Russians are great lens designers. Well, besides the, you know, none of them really working when you get them, but <laughs> that's just a uh, exaggeration. Anyways, um, it has an interesting ability to lock the stop-down ring so that when you... Uh, stop it down it only goes to the said F value that you want um, so that's just a really brief overview and really there is not enough I could say in amount of time this short about this lens it's extremely world famous and um, this video will be going over some of the characters of this lens so here it is I'm mounted on my a6000 it's a pretty new Sony camera that just came out and I'll be reviewing it and doing other videos sh uh, shortly on this channel and as of now it's very new at the time this video is made so here's that beautiful Russian glass on my uh, sparkly new a7 I mean a7 I wish a6000 um, shows you what's on my mind and it's on a dumb adapter there um, my after repairing it and once it arrived it has some loose tolerance on the focus ring so a lot of shakiness is uh, the source there and also the ball head and then as you'll see now the slider um, I'm using this is the first time I've ever really used a slider and it's not even a name brand slider it's just something from China so uh, it's a 48 incher and it's very nice but um, I'm a total new with it so cut me some slack but anyways, here is some signature lens flare here. It's uh, pretty much uh, why a lot of people get this lens. Now, I know it's a little overkill. I do a lot of lens flare on this channel, which is kind of dumb. But uh, it really is something that you don't really get in a lot of modern cameras that are all corrected for that now. So there's all sorts of mods and a crazy company that specializes in lens flare. Oh, this, this is stop down lens flare footage here. So it even is quite a uh, interesting signature look uh, to this lens, you know, even on the better values. But as you can see, it's still sharp. The colors are great. Um, and if you're patient and willing to work with a, you know, iffy thing, you could get some amazing results. But as they say, um, you know, it's uh, there's no such thing as a bad lens. There's just a bad photographer. So, <laughs> anyways, enjoy the crappy footage.
be trying uh, this lens on my Minolta lens turbo. Instead of buying two of them, I just got this little metal ring to convert M42 thread to a Minolta. And uh, let's see how it affects the sharpness, contrast, and uh, field of view. Helios 44 mounted to my uh, HS1 follow focus. Um, once again, this is cheap. My uh, rail system is really cheap. Um, so there's a wobble. My tripod's not the most stable either. Everything is cheap here because I'm learning and that's how I got to start somewhere. So, um, But there's also very loose tolerance um, to the back of the M42 mount on this lens. And so it um, also shakes when uh, you know, very minute focus gear movements. So, anyways, uh, here's some rack focuses, I guess, of, uh, I guess you could use it to study the bokeh or something, but, um, anyways, that's about it for these tests. So, I will be, um, doing more videos of this lens, because it's definitely one of my favorites, just like a lot of people have found. So, to look out for those, but as of now, I'm going to move on to some other lenses that need to be tested. So, have a good day. Bye-bye.